to the one of these. You did it not to me. And these shall go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into eternal life. Why did I bring all that? The right thing to do. And who have you visited? Who have you helped while you were in here? Who was hungry? Who did you minister to? Who was crying in the other bed? Who have you judged wrong? No question, Jesse. Amen. Who? This is what's going on right now in the Bible. Our country is in a mess. Our country is in a mess. We need to take one of those $50,000 watches and feed a block, man. Take one of those Bentley, sell it. Get a hoopty. You could feed a whole daggone city with a Bentley. But yet, we don't see it. Give me more. Feed me the seed. I can't find nowhere in the Bible where money is called seed. Nowhere. But here it is. It's our fault too for not reading our word. Sheep, it's time to bring the shepherds to the fold, man, and bring them to accountability. Read your word. How do you bring them to accountability? Show me in the Bible where it says this. Show me. Why? Why are you asking me for this? Why? Why? Show me. Let's go to. That's all you got to do. Because when you confront them with show me, then you're going to know you're going to get in trouble. Why don't you just shut up, man? That's what they want. Shh. Come on, man. Shh. Talk to me after church. No, show me now. That's what Paul did. Read Galatians chapter 2. He confronted Peter in front of them all. Amen? Where does it say you can't do that? Don't fall for that crap about don't rebuke an elder. That's if he's in sin and you got a witness to it. But if he's acting wrong according to the life now, yo, dude, you're wrong. You sit and stand and pee and poop just like I do. Amen? Stop worshiping these men. Let's go to Romans 12. Romans 12. If you got questions, just hold on to them, please. Because I don't want to lose my frame of mind here. Because this is going out on the net. And I appreciate y'all for giving me this. Because I wanted to bring this out here. Because I want it out there. Amen? Because I ain't ashamed of my game. Amen? Because I ain't got no car for them to take. I ain't got no million dollars for them to snatch. And I ain't got no bad habits. They 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 shame me up. They put it all out there. I'm mad if I got put it on there myself. Yeah, Warren was a male hoe, no doubt. Warren got high, you better believe it. Warren masturbated, oh yeah, all the time. Warren smoked himself to crazy with crack. I sure did. See? You can't rat me out. Because when you rat yourself out, Warren is so powerful, I sure am and have been addicted to it. See? You can't find no mess on me because it's out there. When you've been discovered, they can't shame you. How can they shame you? That's not because they couldn't get Bush. When Bush said, you know, yeah, I swear some coats. Well, we can't shame them now. <laughs> you know, how can I shame them? But when Whistlecoff said, yeah, I, I smoked, but I didn't inhale, oh, we still got it. <laughs> you know, how you going to smoke and not inhale? Give me a break. But people who say, even Obama, yeah, I smoke. I got high. Because once you reveal it, they can't hold it against you. The devil can't use it against you. Are you hearing me? Tell on yourself. Learn to do that. Because if God seen it, who are they? Romans chapter 12. But my main point is, we need to start helping those who are in need, man. Stop this mess. Stop this mess. When new guys come into the program, don't beat them down. Help them. They're scared. Not scared of you. They're scared of this change. You've been getting high for over 30 years. It's kind of hard to want to just change overnight. You told me to drop cigarettes. You told me to stop all this stuff overnight, cold turkey. you got to be a God if you can do it. How many of y'all know it's a God now? How many of y'all want to run out this door and run down the street and buy them? Come on, let's keep it real. Come on. See? That's what I'm talking about. Get real. But you still didn't do it. What kept you? Was it you? No. But now you know you got the strength that you don't have to do it. You don't have to do it. Your flesh wants it. But you still got the power about to do it. And what helps you with that power? Your roommate. Your brother over here, even the one who's saying you can't do it over there, because you want to prove him wrong that you can do it, right? Oh, I ain't gonna get him the guard. See, that's that's part of the pride too. I ain't gonna prove you right, Jack. I ain't leaving. But the ones who walk out, don't worry about them. How many of y'all was friends with that brother who left? A couple of brothers who left. Did they try to take you with them? Praise God. Did y'all die? Some of y'all felt sad they left too, right? But you're still here. Has anything changed? You felt bad for about what? One day? Amen. 
Did you meet them before you got to this program? Amen. Are you going to meet them after you leave this program? Amen. But I guarantee the ones that you stay with through this whole year, you probably will be with the rest of your life. You're going to get to know them. I'm still connected with people all the way in Alaska from Teen Challenge after 10 years. Once you get involved with Teen Challenge and graduate this thing, man, it's like you're totally connected forever with these brothers, man. Some way, shape, and how. I may not even remember y'all from a man in the moon, but y'all, if I mess up, y'all want to find out if y'all live in Kalamazoo. Brother Warren had a mistake. Man, we're going to pray for him. I know that, brother. I might not even remember you. You know how many faces I see coming in and out of here? But you may come back to Philly or wherever and see me somewhere and say, Hey, brother Warren. And I might be standing on the corner going, Hey, right, bro, how you Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> you caught me now. Big deal. Well, bro, that's all right. Everything good, man. But you're not going to judge me. You know why? Because you know my condition. Because you're going to look at me and say, You know what, brother? You know how many brothers I run into that need this program? I catch smoking and getting hot. But do I beat them down? I grab them and hug them up. Amen? Are you here? Don't think you're the perfect person because you're not getting high while you're sitting here. You don't beat down a brother when they mess up. You lift them up. You build them up. Amen? You give unto them. You see them on the street hurt, they already feel embarrassed if they see you. And you want to make them feel more embarrassed? No. Come on, bro. It's alright. Don't worry about that. Put you hungry. You need a couple thousand? Come on, go buy yourself. Because you are my brother. Amen? So if you see brothers out there, even that brother who left, if you see him out there, when you leave, no, oh, dude, let me encourage you. Let me hug you. Let me love you, dude. I don't care. If you want to go back, it's all right. This door's still open. God don't never shut the door until Jesus comes. Amen? That door's never shut. Opportunity's always there. Amen? What I say? Romans 12. Whew. Praise the Lord. I'm just a little hot in the body right now. I'm ready to do war against this false doctrine that's going on with these rich so-called people when I see so many poor people struggling because everybody's in the same condition today, brother and if Obama ain't the fault I'm sick of folks saying that he is our leader of the land look, if I at that time, I wanted Hillary you know what I'm saying? because I would ask people why you vote most, vote, most black people only voting because he was black I said, do you know his politics? do y'all know there were 16 other people going for president? but you only heard about what? You only heard about the Republican and the Democrat. But there were 16 other people on the internet that were running for president. I didn't vote for neither Democrat or Republican. I voted for one of those other 16. Because they had the policies I wanted. And I did like Hillary because Hillary was going to kick some butt. See, I wasn't worried about money in the land. I just knew those people in their mother countries wanted to kill us. Now, we need somebody who has some Tedescaderos who's going to fight. And Hillary is ready to kick butt. But what did Obama do? And I'm proud of him. I thank God for him because he put Hillary right in the pot she belonged. What's that? Farm relation. That little old white woman to kick your butt. I love her. Come on, mess with her if you want. We're going to kick your butt. She's not who I'm telling you. I love her. But Obama's smart. But he's picking up what Bush left off with. Amen? Quit blaming him. I get so many emails talking that crap. We, the Bible tells us to obey every leader of the land. You know, I get this stuff from Christians. We got Christians in this country now praying for his death. Have you ever heard of such a thing? Christians praying for his death. Not the Muslims, Christians. Calling him Satan, reincarnated. Well, if you read your Bible, you know, don't get eschatology. Satan comes out of Europe. Hello? They have this thing now that the deceit of men is starting to d- disappear. Have y'all seen this thing yet? And it ain't because of prisons. Before it was because of prisons, uh, gays, and all that stuff. And we killed each other in wars. Guess why men are not being produced today? And it started right after World War II. 